these are five euros. Do you know what I am going to do with them? No. <laughs> of course you don't. <laughs> so let me take you on a mental journey. What would you do if uh, you had five euros? What would you do? Anyone? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I would buy an ice cream. An ice cream. I, I would buy a ticket for Inoviazo Educatio on Thursday at 5 MS. <laughs> <laughs> this was a word. Thank you for the ad. What would you do if you had 500 Keep euros? Them. <laughs> Keep them. Keep them. Okay. What would you do if you had 5 million euros? Retire. <laughs> I would give you 10%. 500 million euros? Change the world. <laughs> or at least half of it. Oh, we have some good ideas. 500 billion euros? I'm going to the moon. Okay. I'm going to my moon, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to eat at McDonald's. <laughs> a lot of burgers. <laughs> I know what I would do. I would do as you did. You would say? I did that five million, right? Yes. <laughs> no, I would change the world. Yes. So, when I was a kid, I wanted to become a math teacher, then a lawyer than a football player. But after I have finished high school, I uh, signed up for the arts, uh, art school to become an actor. I got in the last person on the list. <laughs> so those four years, I was labeled the black uh, sheep of the class, the rebel, the outcast, so I didn't quit, uh, I didn't uh, quite fit in. But after those four years, I have uh, graduated, top of my class, with an unbelievable grade of 9.66. Now, I was astonished. Uh, they must have been paid to grade me like that. <laughs> but, uh, Oh, I got out the rhythm. rhythm is important. Yes. So, uh, after that, I did not go to any theaters because they were uh, uh, giving me wages much too lower than I expected. So, uh, I became a self-employed actor, but uh, uh, with no employment. So, <laughs> uh, Uh, this is why I, uh, uh, those were very hard years, just like I'm sitting right, uh, standing right here, those were very, very hard, and, uh, but I have learned two major things. You have to become a jack of all trades, and secondly, you have to become expert in one thing and one thing only. Because I was already expert in becoming a rebel, <laughs> I uh, decided to follow my dreams and uh, fund a software company. Now that software company is called uh, Rebeloper because Rebel Developer. <laughs> and uh, we do iPhone and iPad apps. And uh, today Apple is worth 500 billion euros. And uh, I'm going to tell you what uh, my plans are for Rebeloper. Uh, the next, in the next 10 years, I will make Rebeloper to become, uh, to be worth 500 billion euros. <laughs> now, that might sound crazy, but do you remember what I asked at the beginning of my speech? I asked you, do you know what I am going to do with these five euros? Well, I was lying, because with these five euros, I have already done what I wanted to do. With these five euros, I have started Rebeloper, the forthcoming 500 billion euros company. <laughs> so, look into your pockets. 
Do you have these five euros? Do you want to change the world? I know that you all do, and I believe that we all can change the world. Here's to the crazy ones, the misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers, the round pegs and the square holes, the ones who see things differently. They're not fond of rules, and they have no respect for the status quo. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify or vilify them. But the only thing you can't do is ignore them. Because they change things. They push the human race forward. While some may see them as the crazy ones, we see genius. Because the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world, 